Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and today I want to talk a little bit about a extremely common problem. In fact, 70% or more of our population has it, and that's gingivitis. Gingivitis means inflammation of the gingiva or the gum tissue. There are two kinds of gingivitis. There's plaque-induced gingivitis and non-plaque-induced gingivitis. Plaque-induced gingivitis is usually caused by lack of adequate oral hygiene or home care. Non-plaque-induced gingivitis can be a number of other factors. It can be viral, it can be systemic, it can be due to local exposure to other factors, chemicals, but the most common is the plaque-induced gingivitis, and that is the one that typically can lead to what's called periodontitis, and periodontitis means that it's involving the area more beyond just the gum tissue, but the surrounding supporting tissue of the tooth, the bone, to be specific. Now, periodontitis tends to be more severe. You start losing bone, you lose the support of the tooth, you lose the tooth. But if we can catch it in the gingivitis stage and eliminate the gingivitis, very often we can stop it at that point and prevent it from getting to the periodontitis or the more serious stage of bone loss and potential tooth loss. In plaque-induced gingivitis, some of the symptoms that we see are redness, bleeding, a uh, little tenderness of the gum. Sometimes uh, there is not much in the way at all. Uh, so if we have a patient who comes in, uh, we will automatically take a sample of the plaque and the bacteria that are in the plaque and see if there are pathologic or pathogenic bacteria and or parasites in there. And we can catch that and treat it early to prevent periodontitis. If it's very early, just really good home care, good cleaning at your dental office and good home care on your part if you're taught properly how to do it can eliminate the plaque that causes gingivitis and therefore very often eliminate the periodontitis that would follow. As far as home care is concerned, I think it's important to clean between the teeth either with floss or interdental cleaners so that you remove that plaque thoroughly between the teeth because typically that's where gingivitis and periodontitis start. Brushing thoroughly, I'm not sure that the type of toothpaste that you use makes a real difference but brushing thoroughly makes a big difference. Using a water cleaning device can also be very helpful because sometimes cleaning between the teeth with floss and brushing doesn't remove everything as completely as it might, but the water cleaning device can stimulate the tissue and remove particles that may be missed otherwise. So really good home care is the key to treating gingivitis, the early stage of gum disease. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to leave them below. And remember, take care of yourself. You have a healthy mouth. You're going to have a healthier body. Have a great day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.